Here's your Canadians Abroad weekly update. We are starting off with a wild rumor as it's being reported by Matt Law that the Canadians national team have made Frank Lampard a candidate for the national team job. Now don't get me wrong, I love Lampard as a player, and during his first season as Chelsea coach, I thought he did a really good job. However, since then, he hasn't done overly well, and I don't think he would be a great fit for this job. It is still a very interesting name though, but if I had to go with a former Premier League star to manage Canada, I would prefer Thierry Henry. Alfonso Davies got an assist for Bayern over the weekend as he put in a perfect cross for Serge Gnabry to head into the back of the net. It was a very well-worked team goal. That is what Canadian fans would like to see from Davies week in, week out. Although it wasn't enough in this match because Bayern blew a two-goal lead, losing 3-2 to Heidenheim and now sit 16 points behind Leverkusen in second place. Jonathan David won a penalty for Lille and then stepped up himself to score his 16th league on goal of the season, and he now has 23 goals and 7 assists for a total of 30 goal contributions in all matches this season. It was a massive goal as it helped Lille defeat Marseille 3-1, and they are now a step closer to Champions League football next season. Another Canadian striker by the name of David scored this past weekend. As promised, David scored a rocket. Unfortunately though for him, it came in a 5-1 loss for his side. There was a lot of rumors surrounding David this past transfer window, so it is great to see him continue his goal scoring form. Kyle Aaron started for Mallorca in the Copa del Rey final as he looked to become the very first Canadian to ever win the competition. Laren lasted 62 minutes as the match ended 1-1 and had to be decided in penalties, where Athletic Club won 4-2 to win the competition for the first time in 40 years. Absolute heartbreak for Laren and Mallorca, but they put up a fantastic fight. Charles Andreas Brim scored this past weekend as he slotted home his fourth goal of the season with a near post strike. Brim now has a solid 5 goals and 2 assists in all competitions so far this season, as he continues to grow his game at this level with Sparta Rotterdam. Theo Bear scored a highlight real goal, helping Motherwell pick up all 3 points in a 3-2 win. That goal pretty much sums up his confidence at the moment, as you see his strength, composure, and great finishing ability. Bear is now up to 13 goals and 4 assists this season, and he sits tied in 4th place in the league scoring race. Huge news for Canadian youngster Kavon Tavernier, who is on trial at AS Monaco. Get French Football News officially broke the story, but I did hear whispers of this rumor about a week ago, but now it's confirmed. Tavernier has played two matches so far with the reserve side against Manchester United's academy and Strasbourg's academy, scoring in the latter, and from what I have been told, he has been very impressive. This could be an ideal landing spot to develop his game even further. Making his Canadians Abroad debut is Luka Kalenovic, who is actually eligible to represent three nations, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as Canada due to the fact that he was born in Toronto. Luka plays in the top flight in Czechia for Sloven Liberets and is on fire recently as he has scored three goals in the past two matches during a 3-1 win and a 4-1 win for his side. He has seven goals so far this season and sits just outside the top 10 in the scoring race. He's really starting to find his feet right now and it's great to see another Canadian doing well in Europe. Jacob Schaffelberg's fantastic form continues as he picks up yet another quality assist. Unfortunately though for him, it came in a 2-1 loss for his side against the Philadelphia Union. Schaff is up to 3 goals and 4 assists in all competitions this season, and he's truly having a breakout campaign. Ryan Raposo picked up an assist late in the match as he put in a beautiful corner for Veselinovic to head home, as the Vancouver Whitecaps destroyed TFC 4-0 as they sit top of the Western Conference with a 4-1-1 record. After the match, Vanny Sartini had this to say, We showed we are the best Canadian team, and we have been for the past 2-3 to three years. I don't know why we need to remind everyone. Maybe we need to remind the Canadian media and one soccer. Shots fired, but Vanny, I agree. Kenny Olawasi's strong start to his MLS career continues as he scored the late equalizer for Minnesota United in a 1-1 draw against RSL. Olawasi already has two goals and two assists in just six appearances, all of which came off the bench. He has played less than 150 minutes so far, quietly becoming one of the best super subs in MLS this season.